Hall going downfield. Back shoulder. That is picked off by Utah State DJ Williams. But if Utah State can continue to tackle well, they can limit that. Look Ooh, at that. Tackling well. That's Williams who flies in to make the stop. Wow. From the 39, an opportunity now for Boise State. Ripping. Surveys. Flings it deep. They'll take a shot. Richardson. In zone and it's broken up. DJ Williams in coverage. Wow, what a pick there. <laughs> and what a game. That's two picks now for DJ Williams. And that will wrap this one up. And Smith opening that hole up for his boy Huntley. Quick screen pass and all oh, Jay Clark got level. DJ Williams spinning the hits. 35 seconds left. Away trails 28-3. McDonald has pressure. Gets hit again as he lets it go and picked off. There's an old saying, defensive backs are wide receivers with no hands. You're going to see a phenomenal interception. Second night of ACC Network football. Here's Christian Beal Smith. Oh, upended on the hit by the 5'9 senior DJ Williams. Texas here in the first half. He's getting some heat, but gets rid of the ball quickly, but throws it to D.J. Williams, and it's picked off. Williams bounces off a tackler. Now he has some blocking coming to the near side and is out of bounds near midfield. Defense. Mark, it looked like Guyton stopped on the slant route and really left D.J. Williams running the route for him. Bean had really, he was helpless in the pocket. He's going to. And yes, that is perfectly legal. Forget about the Bush push penalty rule. That's out now. Tipped, incomplete in the end zone. Knocked away, intended for Craig Myers. DJ Williams has made a couple of big plays. So 17 back tonight here in East Lansing for Utah State, playing very well. On the outside, Daryl Stewart got upended quickly by Jamarcus Ingram and DJ Williams. Yeah, when you run that bubble screen. Cole McDonald looking right side, going for a home run ball, intended for JoJo Ward. And I think had he led Ward, Ward had the foot speed to get to him. We'll see if he can do that against Troy. Thank you, Peter. As Curry gets that hand Curry off, and yeah, right there sir. proved me right. You've seen him play before in person. Last year against Wyoming, this year against New Mexico State. That one thrown up for Graham! DJ Williams with his first interception of the season. Beak. Jasmine in the backfield, little inside screen and leaping across the 50 is Kobe Smith. Again, we've got him right here on Facebook Thursday against Tennessee Tech. Pressure again and sacked again. DJ Williams, corner black back blitz. Five wide receivers, empty look. Crum gets rid of it quickly through the hands of McCoy. Covered well by DJ Williams, it's fourth down. Got Hokett and Rivers both back there with Raina now. And it's Rivers who takes it on first and ten. He's tackled on the edge. The tough tackling corner, DJ Williams, who averages seven tackles a game. Credit for that. Tackle for a loss, third and eleven. Reyna, pressure up the middle. Reyna has to scramble out, back at the 31. Loads up, heaves long. It is picked off by D.J. Williams. He's not received the football yet. He's to the near side. Hill, four for four on the drive all day, and separated from the football is Izzy Matthews. Arriving at the same time was D.J. Williams, the junior from Smyrna, Tennessee. Great vision down the field. Sanders again across the middle. Pass is broken up, incomplete. DJ Williams with a tight coverage. DJ Williams. Sanders. Yeah. Vanderwall to the sideline. And he hits Austin Conway. 
talking about that call for the rest of our friendship, Eddie, because that's going to go down as one of the worst ones I've seen. Fields throws it up for grabs. It got tipped. And it's incomplete. Mangum on second down, rolling out, throws to the sideline, batted away at the last moment. Hefo, well defended there by D.J. Williams. When you get pressure in the pocket, it forces... Particularly windy night, too, with this drive going into the wind, making it a little bit less conducive for passing. Another first down carry. The ball comes loose at the end of the run, and the Aggies say they've come up with it. There are many layers of this pile to be peeled away to determine who fell on top of the loose ball. Utah State football. Have the ball in that crowd at the end. You got to make sure you cover it up with two hands. He's trying to, but it just seemed percent with a foot injury. And here's Hall. Where's that guy? Hall with some loft to the sideline and batted away incomplete. Pressure coming, they pick it up, and that's it. Not a good decision. I know you like that matchup, but Williams was right there. They mark him a yard short of the first down marker, so third and one. And it'll be fourth down. And guess who? DJ Williams. What a night. The game, something we didn't know prior to this game that he kept under wraps. Tyquel Fields really didn't practice this week nursing an injury. So you're not gonna see him back out there. Wow, that's breaking news. Thank you, Danny. DJ Williams, a nice tackle, and that was